What's going on guys, it's Greg Meeskos Styles, and welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be breaking down how much money we made here on YouTube in 2021. I don't think this is a video we've ever made before, but a lot of other YouTube channels, much bigger ones, do this. And I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see if anyone out there is an aspiring lacrosse entrepreneur, an aspiring lacrosse content creator. You can see, um, is there any money to be made? Is it profitable? Or are you just on YouTube uh, trying to get your name out there, have some fun and do some marketing? So um, full disclosure, uh, the amount of money we make is pretty good, it's not great. The amount of work we put into these YouTube videos goes far beyond what we could ever make back on YouTube. And really our objective here on YouTube is not to make money. I think if our objective was to make money, we probably could pump these numbers up and be more profitable. Really, we just wanna provide entertainment and education for the lacrosse community. Uh, at the end of the day, the goal is not to make money, it's to entertain you guys and make sure you stay informed gear reviews, tutorials, highlights, all that fun stuff. So all that being said, I'm not gonna keep you in suspense. Let's dive right into it. Uh, 2021, we had a total of 4,668,626 total views. This is fantastic. Appreciate you all you guys for watching, getting close to 5 million views in one year is something I could have never fathomed in my wildest dreams. Our number one viewed video of 2021 was the best highlights of 2020, edited by my guy Winston, got just over 150,000 views. So 4.5 million views is a ton of views. What you're gonna see is that not all of our videos are monetizable because we're here for entertainment. A lot of times we choose a song that might be copyrighted to make the highlights as good as possible. Some of our highest viewed videos do have copyright claims. In that case, um, the holder of the copyright, the artist or the label, they get all the money from that video. So um, while we have 4.5 million views, our monetizable views are far lower than that because many of our best videos end up being copyrighted and the, the, con or the, the money is claimed by someone else in that situation. So let's hit you guys with the full total. I've got the chart here that you can kind of see across the year. The full total for the year is $6,774. So certainly, I'm not gonna scoff at almost $7,000. That's a lot of money, and it really uh, is great to get that money in from the ads. At the end of the day, what we spend on cameras and the time I spend making these videos, the cost of that is probably closer to six digits. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, a ton of money. So you know, we're not even getting close to recouping the amount of money that we spend. But again, $7,000 is $7,000. Um, you can see we had a situation where our videos were demonetized for a little bit in the early part of the year. So I think that this could have been much higher, closer to $10,000. We'll give you an update at the end of this year. And if we can keep everything monetized, see how we do. But you can see some spikes with some higher videos. So. Let's break this down per highest grossing video. At number one, we have GoPro on McCabe Millen. That individual video brought in $530, or almost 10% of our total revenue. Number two, GoPro videos apparently do well because there are a lot of views, but I also tend to use non-copyrighted music because they're not really about the music, uh, is the Leo Hoffman GoPro video bringing in $244. ECD Squid Game at $144. Uh, the game highlights from the Under Armour All America, $144. Then we've got another GoPro video, $131. And then some reviews and wall videos. Again, they don't have um, music so that we end up making the money from it, like breaking down the best recruits. That was $100. Um, so as you can see, if you hit a good video, that you can monetize, uh, you have the copyright rights to, you can make 500 bucks. You could even get it up to $1,000. Um, so I think if you were really wanting to start a YouTube channel to make money here in lacrosse, um, it's probably not gonna be a profitable endeavor. But if you can start a YouTube channel with the hope of making uh, a little bit of money, and then also maybe pushing a training program or some merch or products. That's how a lot of YouTubers make their money now uh, is by pushing actual hard products or online courses in addition to the revenue. Another option for you guys out there if you wanna start a YouTube channel, just like Lax Weekly, uh, is you can try and sell sponsorships individually for each video. So you try and get a sponsor that gets a readout or you do an affiliate link with a kickback, stuff like that. So there's a lot of things that if you wanted to, you could put together with your YouTube ad revenue to try and make um, probably not a living, but a good little side gig and some extra money here on YouTube doing lacrosse. So if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, if you want advice on starting a YouTube channel or a business, leave it in the comments. I'll personally try and respond to them, give you guys as much info as I can. Make sure to like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and we will try and make another one of these at the end of this year to compare and see how we did. Again, I think with that lull, I think we can get up to around $10,000 this year. So thanks for watching. Uh, we're really gonna try and switch the content up. I'm currently buying 
buying new camera equipment, currently making plans for mini documentaries, um, just some more immersive content, some more personality stuff. Uh, so make sure you subscribe, try and pump it up. We're at like 160,000 subscribers now. I'd love to be closer to 200 by the end of the year.